hey there beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video in today's video we're going to be doing a full body at home workout super excited for this one it's gonna be good if you like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up let me know how you're getting on in the comments you have made it to day 12 so so proud of you and i hope that you are proud of you too join me on instagram because i post loads on there as well without further ado let's get into the workout are you ready yes are you steady let's go let's get started with a warm-up so, going from side to side, arms stretched out, small circles, like you've got a dishcloth in each hand and you're just cleaning the windows in a very small room, edging the feet wider apart as we go, increasing the stretch in the hips. We're doing a full body workout today, so we're doing a full body warm up. Keep it moving. And we're going to do some floor touches, opening up the arms, opening up the chest, twisting so that your shoulders are facing each side as you touch the floor, swapping from side to side. Now some hip openers, so bring the knee up in front, push it out to the side. Try and keep your shoulders square forward, facing forward, isolating the leg in the movement as we open up those hips. Now some big circles going back, chest up, reaching nice and tall. And the other way. And let's jog on the spot. So in today's workout, we're going to be doing 40 seconds of each exercise with 20 seconds rest. However, if you're doing the beginner's plan, I want you to do 30 seconds of each exercise with 30 seconds rest. So that will mean starting each exercise when we're 10 seconds in. Um, I'll give you a shout out, but yeah, just so you're aware of the different timings for today's workout. You're still gonna get a great workout in, so don't worry, you shall be feeling it. And we're gonna do some floor sweeps, stretching through the hamstrings and the calves, alternating each leg, chest to knee, And then tutty down, arms between knees, swaying from side to side as we push the knees apart a little. Just get a nice hip stretch. And we're gonna bring it to the floor, reaching forward, swaying the hips, and just stretching the, the hips out, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs, and move around with it as you feel, as I show us the first move. First move we'll be doing are some reversed crawl thrusts. So reverse crawl hip raises. So you wanna take a few steps, lift the hips up twice, take a few more steps, lift the hips up twice. Getting an awesome glute squeeze. On all fours, ready to go. And go. So take two steps, two squeezes, Stepping it back, two squeezes. So the aim is that as you lift the hips, you want to get your knee, hip and shoulder in a straight line. So you really want to get that full hip extension, squeezing the glutes at the top. Good arm workout by carrying the weight in the body, walking back and forth with two squeezes at the top. Doing really well and rest well done next move we're gonna do will be some up down shoulder taps so coming up 
down and tapping each shoulder. Beginners, you're staying um, at the knees, so you're pivoting at the knees instead of the feet and you're just doing the shoulder taps, still getting a great workout in. Ready and go. So come up, tap the shoulders, come back down, come back up, tap the shoulders. Trying to alternate which arm you start on each time. Beginners, go, tapping the shoulders really getting in a great upper body workout, really good core squeeze as well by holding a good plank position. Keep it moving. So try and come up on a different arm each time. So you're alternating which arm leads the getting up each time, if that makes sense. Staying steady so you're not wobbling from side to side too much and rest well done next move we're going to do will be some star jump burpees beginners walking through the movement but still getting in a great workout ready and go so your standard burpee but a star as you jump up Beginners, go. So walking back, standing up, doing a star jump, coming back down, still getting in a really good workout. So we're getting nice and breathless and sweaty with this one, but still keeping good form. You wanna make sure it's controlled. Try and get a really good, powerful star shape as we jump up. and rest well done then we're going to do some up down in and out so back in the plank position going to bring the feet out to the side twice and then up twice out to the side twice up twice so find your rhythm with it ready and go out out up up out out up up so bringing the knees towards the chest Carrying the weight of the body in the upper arms, getting in a good shoulder workout here. Beginners, you're going, you're getting in this great workout too. Try and control the movement, breathing through it. Little hops as we go. and rest well done next move some sidewalk get ups so beginners you're just doing a side to side low squat walk intermediate and advanced we're standing up in a low squat stepping to the side kneeling back down getting back up stepping to the side and go the aim is to keep the hips as low as possible. So when you're kneeling, you want to try and keep the hips around the same height when you get up. Beginners, go on the 30 seconds exercise. So try and stay nice and low, chest lifted. Keep it moving. Your quads will be feeling it, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. It's what you signed up for and you can do it. Keep going. And rest, well done. Next move, walk out with a lift and press. So walking out, lifting each leg one at a time, doing a press up and walking it back to the feet. Beginners, we are doing simple walkouts. Again, still getting a great workout in and go. So walk it out, lift one leg, lift the other, do a press up and walk back towards the feet. Beginners start now doing the walkouts. So intermediate and advanced, as we do the leg lift, the aim is to keep the core nice and tight. You're in a good plank position and you want to get that glute squeeze at the top before walking back out. With the press up, you want to come nice and low. We're only doing the one press up, but you want to really get the most out of it. You can come onto your knees if you need to and rest. Next move are some in and out squat jumps. 
so squat to narrow leg squat beginners you're walking through the movement so doing a wide leg squat then legs together and doing a narrow squat go so with this even though we're jumping we're not really going for height actually we're just going for like a continuous motion so wide leg to narrow leg squat weight through the heels chest up beginners go beginners you're pulsing on each squat so wide leg squat narrow leg squat wide leg squat narrow leg squat either way you're staying nice and low hips low weight through the heels chest up you should be able to wiggle your toes and rest awesome next we're doing some side lunges with a twist so coming out to the side and then twisting elbow to knee as we bring the knee up beginners we're rocking through the side lunges side to side and go so the aim of this move is to actually keep the weight through uh, the weight of the body through the leg that's not moving beginners start now so the weight of your heel is going through the leg that's not moving the other leg when it comes down into that side lunge it's only balancing you really so it's almost like a pointed leg just catching your balance then you're coming back up almost like a supported single leg squat with the twisting movement from the elbow to the knee so it's quite intense you're sitting back weight through the heels and then coming up twisting and rest and we're going to do the same thing, but on the other leg. Feel free to grab a drink if you need in these breaks, by the way. And go. So notice how I'm really sitting back. And then coming back up and twisting, chest lifted, elbow to knee. So I don't actually take the whole weight of my body through that leg that is outstretched. I'm just touching it to the floor and then standing back up using the weight, uh, using the strength that's in the leg of the planted foot. and rest well done next move will be plank and twist so in a plank position we're turning to each side opening up the shoulders beginners bending at the knees just lifting each arm alternately if this is difficult that's okay you can just hold the plank position and go so twisting opening up the chest carrying the weight through the arms beginners go still getting in a great core workout just lifting the arm and switching from side to side keep going keep breathing through the movement keeping good posture core nice and tight feeling the weight of the body but pushing through and rest well done gonna have 20 seconds and come back into the reversed crawl hip thrusts on hands and knees ready and go so walking back four steps lifting the hips twice walking forward four steps lifting the hips twice you really want to intentionally squeeze the glutes as you lift them aiming to get the hips in line with the rest of the body knee to hip to shoulder doing really well keep going getting a great tricep working as well as we crawl and rest well done 
Then we're doing some up, down, shoulder taps. We are working today, but you can do it. So beginners on the knees, just shoulder tapping. Intermediate and advanced, we're coming down onto the forearms. Then coming back up, doing the shoulder tap. And go. Down, up, tap, tap. Down, up, tap, tap. Beginners begin. <laughs> So you really want to be controlling the core, trying to keep good posture. This one's not easy, but going down and coming back up is, is harder than it looks. Who, who would have thought it, huh? Who would, who would have thunk it? But you can do it, just keep going, keep it moving. Alternating which arm you come down on each time. Gotta stay balanced. And rest, well done. Next move will be star jump, burpees. Beginners walking through that movement. And go. Being nice and explosive, making a star in the air. Beginners go. So walking through the movement into plank position and standing back up and doing a star jump. Keep going, doing really well. And nearly there. Rest. Well done. And we're going to go back into some up, downs, in and outs. Plank position, feet coming out to the side. And then bending at the knees. And go. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Well done, carrying the weight of the body. Our bodies are a weight that we can use to our advantage when we want to challenge them. And that's a good thing, you're strong. Keep going. And rest, well done. Then we're going back to the sidewalk get ups. Beginners just doing a squat walk side to side. Ready and go. So taking two steps. And coming down and back up, keeping the hips low, beginners start. So you really want to try and keep the hips nice and low. You don't want them to come up too much higher when you get up than they are when you're kneeling. I know it's tough, you will feel it, that's okay. Keep going, you're doing so well. And rest, well done. Then we're doing the walkout, lift and press. Beginners doing walkouts. Ready and go. So walking it out, lift one leg, lift the other, walk it. Do a press up and then walk it back. Lol, forgot, so it's my bad. Walk it out, lift one leg, lift the other leg. Do a press up, walk it back. A really good combo move here. Getting the upper body work, the abdominal work, the stretch in the thighs and the hamstrings and the squeeze in the glutes when we do those leg lifts. Beginners still getting a great workout. You can bend at the knee if you need to when you're walking it out and back. And rest, well done. 
Next, we're going back to the side lunge and twist. Beginners shifting from side to side in the lunge position. And go. So bringing that leg up, twisting at the waist, elbow to knee, driving through the planted leg, weight through the heels should be able to wiggle your toes beginners going side to side chest nice and high still hips back squeezing the glutes intentionally keep going you're doing really well i know it's tough i'm doing it right here with you just keep pushing you can do it and rest well done that's a tough move you're doing really well we're going to do the same thing on the other leg and go so really twisting to try and get the elbow to the knee so it's almost like a single leg squat. You're not actually coming fully down into that side lunge. You're just pointing the leg out to the side before bringing it back up for the twist. You're doing really well, nearly there. Keep going. and rest well done and we're going to move on to some in and out squat jumps so narrow leg squat jump to a wide leg squat jump beginners pulsing through wide leg squats and narrow leg squats and go so legs coming nice and wide and close together keeping it moving we're not necessarily trying to be explosive but we're landing softly, weight through the heels. Beginners go, wiggle your toes, chest up, good posture, you're doing really well. I know it's tough, I'm right here with you, I'm feeling it too. Just keep it moving. You might be tempted to slow down, but try not to stop. And rest. Well done, we're nearly there. The last move of the workout will be the plank and twist. So coming down onto the hands. Beginners, just lifting each side, bending at the knees. Go. So keeping the hips up core tight, opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Just keep it moving, you're doing so well. Keep going, nearly there, 10 more seconds. And rest, well done, you've done so well. So, so proud of you. You should be really proud of yourself if you've done that. That was really tough, like my back was dripping, which is what I was just trying to show you. Um, but yeah, well done, you've completed day 12, we're nearly there. Have a great day, you guys. I will see you same place, same time tomorrow.